Steimer has made his announcement and he's coming for you. He's coming for you by setting up his violent disorder unit. So let's just listen to what he's actually saying. I'm just going to play this clip now and we'll listen to what he's actually saying. And make no mistake, whether it's in Southport, London or Hartlepool, these people are showing our country exactly who they are. Mosques targeted because they're mosques. Flares thrown at the statue of Winston Churchill. A Nazi salute at the Cenotaph. And so I've just held a meeting with senior police and law enforcement leaders where we've resolved to show who we are. A country that will not allow understandable fear to curdle into division and hate in our communities and that will not permit under any circumstances a breakdown in law and order on our streets. Because let's be very clear about this. It's not protest. It's not legitimate. It's crime. Violent disorder. I can announce today that following this meeting we will establish a national capability across police forces to tackle violent disorder. These thugs are mobile, they move from community to community, and we must have a policing response that can do the same. Shared intelligence, wider deployment of facial recognition technology, and preventative action, criminal behaviour orders, to restrict their movements before they can even board a train. So obviously you can hear him talking there that he's going to let you know who they are. Well, I can tell you who he is. He's a globalist through and through. He's been brought in. He's a World Economic Forum puppet. And basically, this is a setup. The fox has been let into the hen house. And now people are obviously, they've gone out onto the streets in anger. I would condemn the violent actions of a minority of people who've set things alight, damaged cars, you know, throwing bricks and all these types of things, but people are angry. There's been multiple sort of civil disturbances up and down the country, Manchester, small disturbances, Hartlepool, more serious, Sunderland now. Obviously, we've seen the Hare Hills uh, riots where the police ran away. There's been situation in London where there was a protest and then the police were much more heavy-handed in that instance. However, Stormer wants us divided. This is the globalist tactic. He wants us all divided. And it's a setup. He's telling people, you know, we're going to let you know who we are. They're going to use uh, facial recognition technology. More, It's going to be more widespread and even going to restrict people's movements. And as he said in that video, even before they board a train, the reality is they want to turn it into an open prison. So through the civil disturbance, up and down, you know, the we could call them riots, whatever you want to call them, this is playing into the globalist hands because it's keeping people divided. People are blaming Muslims, they're blaming this section of the community, they're blaming the police, they're blaming the government, they're blaming everybody. Everyone's fighting and there's a massive divide and there's people stirring things up, like Tommy Robinson is stirring things up online. Obviously, you'll have, you know, hardline Muslims stirring it up in their mosques and people are just stirring up hatred and this is what these globalists want. They want us to hate each other and Starmer has been brought in to bring the hammer down and that's what he's going to do. If you go out onto the streets today protesting, you're facing arrest because that's what they want. They want you out there so they can implement martial law. They want these riots to go on because then they can implement more draconian measures. And that's what they're going to do. If you put 50 black ants and 50 red ants in a jar, they don't fight with each other. But if you shake the jar, they begin to fight. We need to look at who's shaking the jar because the jar is being shaken. And Starmer has been brought in to further antagonise people. Look at what he said, that he'll 
defend the Muslim community. So straight away, he's, he's making divisive remarks, which is angering the non-Muslim communities and in turn playing into the hands of the globalist, keeping us all divided and keeping us fighting. We need to look at actually who's behind all this. It's all been done on purpose and it's going to lead down to more draconian laws being brought into place. People need to wake up. They need to not take the bait this weekend. They need to not take the bait at all. We need to expose this man and the globalist agenda. We need to speak out. This is an information war. And the more people that speak out, the better.